Hi, this is Jericho Silvers. Today, let's talk about my two books. I'm going to answer the questions that I got about the flowers that bloomed in fire and the flowers that bloomed at night, and hopefully give you a clarity. How can these two be helpful for you? For those who don't know me yet or seeing me for the first time, hello, I'm Jericho Silvers. I'm 24 years old. I'm a Filipino poet and multi multidisciplinary artist um, based in Metro Manila, Philippines. I write about life, inspiration, and mental health. Let's start with what are the books about? What do they tell? What are their messages? Um, okay, so both books are anthologies or collection of poetry or epigrams about life, inspiration, and mental health. I know it's quite broad to say that it's about life. It's about mental health. Let's look at the specific things about this book. The books are like my journal. I collected the words that I needed for myself, that I needed to hear so that I can overcome my struggles. I had nothing but words. I was in my lowest point in life in 2018. I was suffering. I felt like I lost everything. I lost my friends. I lost my my family, my faith, my my talents. I was suffering from insecurities. I lost my will to live. But something inside me was telling me to hold on. It was the most difficult battle in my life. But every time I will be able to think of a message for myself, I will write it down, I will compile it, I will post it. And that what led me to the publication of this book. Two years after my lowest point in life, I was able to publish this. That changed my life because I didn't really expect this to, to sell many copies and to improve my perspective in life. And two years after the publication of this book, I got a new one. And it's this one. A flowers that bloomed at night. The night symbolizes the place, the dark place, and the cold place that I've been. Many people don't know why, just like what I experienced. They don't know the reason why they need to hold on, why they need to listen to their inner voice that tells them to, to be hopeful. And uh, through this book, I want to send out a message that it's okay that you don't know yet, but you are not alone and you can get through this. I learned so much from getting into the lowest point of my life to, to getting help from people, and to improving my life, to actualizing my, my purpose. And I've put all those lessons into this book. The first book was published by ABS Sibin Books in 2020, but I'm going to republish it next year. I'm going to improve the design, the layout, the pagination, or the chapters. This will have a second edition next year. Meanwhile, this book was published by myself. I quit my corporate job so that I can focus on writing books. And this was my first output. And I'm really proud of this because I got control over the design, the, the materials used. Yeah. These are my photos. This was me in Mount Ulap. Um, this was my first travel when I was... Because travel really helped me overcome my, my mental health issues and this was my first travel. It was in Mount Ulap, and it was such a beautiful place. And yeah, so I put put three photos in here in every start of a chapter. So yeah, and I put my illustrations. I used my handwriting, and these are my handwriting. And I created my own font here. This is. This is my own font using my own handwriting. 
and yep I'm just so proud of how this book turned out because it was all done by myself except for the editing part because I asked I asked help from from Matt Wilson my editor and yep this was this is my tattoo by the way I, I got this illustration tattoo here so yeah I hope you'll get a copy of these books soon if you have more questions to just let me know put put them down in the comments or uh, send me a message on Instagram thank you so much for watching